Hey guys, happy Sunday morning. <laughs> this is what's going on in my craft room. <laughs> Some of you did mention it's time to get crafting. Um, there's still so much that needs to be done around the house and outdoors and getting things planted that I just um, am not ready to start crafting. My crafting juices are not flowing yet. Um, this is how pretty it looks um, with my succulents right at my craft room window. <coughs> this is my other sleepy head. But yeah, um, my craft room is <coughs> completely put together other than the closet. We won't talk about the closet. <laughs> um, did have to do a little rearranging. Um, I moved this piece to here. Look who's in there. Um, we had to clear out this area because Honey is putting in the wood stove and he was measuring and getting that ready. I moved this piece from the hallway to here. Here's our pile of, what are we going to do with this stuff? This is our, what are we going to do with this stuff pile? We've got this here. I think I'm going to move Myers to right here um the guy is here painting the garage so i will show you that later i don't know if you remember but the garage was like a green color uh, that's all we hear all day long anyway i'll show you later hey guys so i'm out in the woods and I am hunting moss. So some of the moss, there's different kinds. There's some that's puffy, and that's what I'm looking for because it comes off the ground much easier. And this is what works well in the water feature. So like this. See, it just pops right off. And then I can put it right in the water feature and and then there's this kind which is like really stuck to the ground but I think maybe this one will come off yep that's a nice piece I really like moss in the waterfalls it makes it look much more natural and I like this super green moss. So that's what I'm doing out here. See if I can find some good stuff. And um, it comes and goes, you know. Sometimes it'll die off. And if we get good rain, there'll be a whole bunch more. But all these downed trees... This is seasoned wood. This is wood that um, honey will cut up and we will use in a wood burner this year. That stuff that just got cut down way in the background over there, that won't be good till next year to burn. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Just thought I'd show you what I found. Probably not an edible mushroom, but boy, that's a big one. Whoa. That's the, that's the first mushroom I've seen out here. I'm going to be sure to wash my hands when I'm done in case that one is poisonous. But anyway, just wanted to show you that. So I just found a bigger one. And how weird that this dirt is like on top of it. wish that was edible that's a nice looking mushroom do you guys like mushrooms oh my gosh look holy cow and it's like they come up from under the ground and they just push that earth out of the way whoa I had to take that and show honey that is so cool. 
Wow. Holy crap, there's another one over there. And there's two under here. Oh, there's three. Wow. I wonder how these just... I mean, look at that. That one's big too. And there's another one. Holy moly. Well, I'm going to take this one to show, honey. I think now that he's doing the trim, it looks really good. I think yesterday it was throwing me off because the trim wasn't done. But, yeah, there's how the garage looks. We're super digging it. And you can see we got the rocks right there. There's my pile of branches I cleaned up from here, and I still got a ton to go. <laughs> we live here just saying but yeah I can see where the foundation because it's kind of a bluish gray it kind of throws it off some so we do need to figure out something to do with that yeah that's why it probably needs to be rock what about that stuff you put on Surrey? I mean, obviously not that color. No. Okay. It's too expensive to try. Yeah. Hey guys, we're here having, gonna have dinner. And look what we got right there. That's a buck's butt. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cool. Yeah, this is called the Lariat Lodge Brewing Company. And this is where Honey's having his birthday dinner. Even though he oh, already... You know it is. I didn't know that. Shut I can, up. I, I can only have french fries today. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even seem bothered. He's a baby. Let's see how close he'll let me get. Hi. Like I'm literally, this is how close we are. Oh, look, he's got a friend over there. Honey, look how close you are. I know. You're like 15 feet. His friend oh. has bigger horns. Oh, my gosh. My <laughs> older brother. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye. So here we are at Honey's birthday dinner. Say hi, Honey. <laughs> You're fine. This is this is our waiter. Oh, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys have to see what an amazing, beautiful view. And down there is a river. I don't know if you can see it. And then Honey fell in love with the root beer, so we're getting him eight root beers to go. <laughs> oh, don't. Don't laugh like Brett Reynolds, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. Not on camera. Huh? That's my private you do for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey guys, just wanted to show you. We're on our way home. We are, I don't know, a quarter mile from the house. And that is the lights of Denver from the top of the mountain. And it seems close, but... Uh, it's a half hour drive to get to the city from up here. And listen, all you can hear is a little bit of an airplane. It's silent. And look how dark it is. So there's the city and there's the road straight in front of you. 
You can kind of see the shadows of the tree. But I gotta start the car before somebody ascends the back of us. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd go that direction. <laughs> hey guys, it is Monday afternoon. <clears throat> and I just kind of wanted to show you our front porch area. So we have the welcome sign. Very... Uh, we have this in, in the city too. Um, one of my very good friends sent me this from Texas. She sent me a few other things too, um, but that's something I chose to put outside. Looks great with the, the cross. I don't know if I've shown you this. I don't know, funny. But there's our front porch area. And then of course we have the wonderful waterfall. Let's see what Honey's doing. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember this. We used to have this hanging in our living room. And I thought it was perfect here. And Honey, well, the garage got painted. And Honey hung that up right away. He is trying to clean out his garage. And get it ready for his vintage car. Wow. Wow. Wow, <laughs> this thing was like a giant shit show earlier. Tired? <laughs> oh my God. How many times have this, has that concrete been moved? Once from Home Depot, once into the garage, once out of the garage, once into a moving pod, once into this garage, and it's fixed to be moved again. No, remember, didn't those used to be under the, um, under the patio furniture on the patio too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that concrete's probably been moved 10 times. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wanted to show them the fireplace, but it's kind of tucked away right now. But here's what Honey got for his birthday from my mom. And that is a wood splitter. It does that. Only it hasn't done too much of that. <laughs> That's a very small little pile. But all of that stuff back there has got to get split. Hey, who's hot dog machine? <clears throat> I think maybe that's the cost of storing his stuff is we get to keep the hot dog machine. Uh -huh. I think that's the cost of his um, storage fees. We get to keep the hot dog machine. <laughs> it's one of those retro ones that has the roller. I know. That'd be great for a party. <laughs> I don't think he's ever even used it. And now that he's fixing to be a very much wealthier man than he was before, he could donate us a hot dog machine. <laughs> you have a Romani dryer? You have a granddaddy? Yeah. Uh, I want it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Who gave that to you? <laughs> My buddy? My not buddy? King Carol. King okay, Carol. That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> yeah. I need you. What does it need? Two oh, man. I just ordered from Romani, too. Yeah. That's mine. Okay. All right. There's our flag. There's my I fancy car. Hi, guys. <sighs> face to face, it's been a while. So Honey is unavailable. He is so busy with all his stuff, he can't find time to sit down and do a video right now. And I've been promising a face to face, <coughs> so I just thought I'd do one by myself. Um, you know, what I guess what I'd really like from you guys is if you have specific questions, could you comment them down below? And then when we do our video together, um, I can write all those down and we can answer all your questions. So, so far, living up here is pretty amazing. The only thing that's been super stressful was um, it took us a long time to get our certificate of occupancy. We, <clears throat> we thought we actually had it. 
um, a, a, what do you call it, an inspector came up. He was like, the only thing you guys need to do is put down grass seed. And the next day, the builder was putting down grass seed. Um, and the guy told us, okay, you're good to go. You got it. And we found out about five days later that a different inspector was coming up and he didn't, it's a long story, he didn't approve of what the other inspector already approved, which didn't make any sense to us because how can you get an approval and then they take it away? So anyway, we were in the house before we actually should have been in the house because you get your CO and then you're allowed to be in the house. So since we thought we had the CO, the builder told us to move in, which we did. And when the other inspector came out, he's like, oh, are you living in the house? And we were like, yeah, we were told we had CO. And he was like, well, you know, the only problem would be if your house burned down, your insurance probably wouldn't cover it because you don't, don't have the CO. Well, we weren't, you know, hugely concerned about our house burning down. Um, but it was still a concern. Um, Honey was still very, very stressed out about not having that. And it caused, it caused some friction because he just was so super stressed out that he and I were doing some of this. So we have it now. It's official. Or, you know, it's all good. It's all good. So you might hear the humming of the hot tub in the background because... <coughs> We needed to add some water to it, so now Honey is cycling it, because we're gonna use it later. And um, the dogs are really, really enjoying being up here. Shiva has lots of room to run, and run she does. Not only that, she barks a lot, because there are lots of critters that are drawn to the fence line because of the sound of the water. And, um, we love that. We love getting to see the wildlife. Um, this morning we had a fox run across the front and it was like, it was like an adolescent fox. It was kind of small, but um, lots of deer and the deer usually come to the back fence line here. Um, I haven't had any problems with the altitude. Honey has had uh, shortness of breath because he is a smoker and the altitude obviously affects a lot of people. Hasn't affected me a bit. Um, my ears usually do pop twice on the way up and the way down um, to work, but it's just the most awesome decision that we both feel like we've ever made. And you know, I figure you guys probably have some questions about that because I know there were a lot of people that were like, how could you leave your beautiful home? And you, you know, you did all this stuff to it and it's fantastic and you know, everything. Um, it's probably gonna sound funny, but once I found out what a water feature should really look like, that thing that we had, um, it just wasn't beautiful anymore now that I know what a water feature is actually supposed to look like and supposed to sound like <coughs> I've been playing with it a lot um, <clears throat> take a drink. <coughs> I still do have this little hacky cough I'm gonna go get that I'll be right back okay that was Blake um, I don't know where I was at, but my craft room is pretty much together. Um, I think I may have mentioned before that even though it's together, like 90, I'd say 95% together, <clears throat> I still feel like I don't know it. Um, whereas my other craft room, I would just feel overwhelmed with inspiration. And right now there's still so much to do around the house and in the yard <clears throat> on the property that I just don't feel inspired yet but I have thought a lot about what I want my first project to be <clears throat> and I think it's gonna be a mini album I think it's gonna be a mini album 
and it'll probably take me a lot longer than normal because <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to be pretty rusty. I know what paper I'm going to use. I already have it. Um, it'll probably be a baby album um, or a young girl young teenage not teenage um, toddler ish type of album um, but yeah I have got to get those juices flowing because it is August September October <clears throat> Some, in October by 1st of October I've got to start Christmas cards um, I have a lady who buys most of my cards and last year she bought about $2,500 worth so Christmas cards are at the top of my priority list <laughs> anyway I just keep looking around and it's hard to believe that we're here and we're living here and it's ours and I wake up in the morning and I'm like oh my god this really happened because at first it was scary to think about leaving that house and the whole process was scary and losing that other property due to foundation issues was scary and <laughs> dealing with the permitting the inspections and all of that here was uh, was scary but here we are now the garage is finally painted to match the house I, we're, we're having a um, I, I don't know what you call it we're having a party and we're inviting all the contractors <clears throat> so um, it's gonna be on the 29th so all the contractors that worked on this house we're inviting um, the builder, obviously, the people in the office at the builder, we're inviting them. Um, and we're in opening it up to <clears throat> the entire community here. We have our own Facebook page, this community. And so we're inviting everyone from the community to come. And a few friends. So it's going to be a large party. Going to make a burrito taco bar type of uh, situation. And um, just really excited to share our home and our outdoor living space. Um, we are trying to get this, this deck area covered. Um, we're having a hard time finding a contractor that has the availability to get that done uh, before winter. But we're hopeful. <laughs> and uh, that's a huge... Um, goal and improvement for us being able to utilize this outdoor space even in the winter. Um, honey needs somewhere to smoke because he used to smoke in the bathroom at the old house and <clears throat> it took us quite a while to get that smell out so we could sell the house but we did and he is not going to smoke in this house at all. So <clears throat> he may have to go out to the garage and smoke um, which will be really bad for him when there's three four feet of snow out here but that's the way it's got to be when you smoke. So anyway, I have been kind of playing around with the plants inside the pond. It's not a pond, okay? The water feature. It's a pondless waterfall. Um, they planted the, I already had the plants for in the pond, in the, ugh, I keep calling it a pond, the water feature. <clears throat> So when I got home that day, they had planted them inside the water feature. And I just went in there and split some of them up because they had like, they could be split up so that it would spread them out more. <clears throat> it's very important to have live plants in your water feature. It gives the, it's like a filtration for the water and gives it more clarity um, to the water. Um, so I am super, super loving it. Um, we did start to get some string algae in both water features. I caught it really quickly. I pulled all the string algae out. I say all the string, there wasn't that much, but string algae is not pretty and you don't want it in your water feature. And they make a specific item called an iongen that you can put in it and it 
puts certain ions in the water and it disintegrates the string algae. So I ordered us one of those. They're quite pricey, but um, I feel like with as much as we paid for the water features, <clears throat> we don't want them to be ugly with the string algae. So I ordered for this one, the big one, because it's very, it's so big that to get all the string algae out, I have to literally get in it and walk up the waterfall and get it out. So I ordered that and it should be here this week and then I shouldn't have any more problems with this one. But the one in the front is so much smaller that I can just, you know, once a week I can pull out what, I mean, because those things are like almost $500. And if I don't have to buy two, I'm happy not to buy two. Um, we already ordered more lights for this one and um, I did adjust some of the lights that are already in there and I think it looks better. Um, I guess it's hard for the guys when they're putting them in <clears throat> to tell because it's broad daylight. So I got them adjusted and um, anyway, I don't know what else to tell you guys except we are loving life at 9200 feet. Um, I have a feeling life's going to be much different when winter comes in, but we have been told that um, winter is not that bad until the spring. So that was good news, you know, that family and friends can still come up uh, for holidays and stuff. They're like, yeah, you're not going to have really bad um, snowstorms until the spring. So. Um, the snowblower should be here this week. We ordered new light fixtures for the dining room and the kitchen. Um, we ordered some storage for the master closet. Um, <clears throat> it's a nice size master closet. And, you know, it's got the nice wooden hangy things and it's got a shelf. But we needed more. We really needed more. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Anyway. Let me know what questions you guys might have. Nothing's off the table. So, ask your questions in the comments below. And when Honey and I, well, when I can get Honey to make time to do uh, a video with me, we will answer those questions. So, um, I am going to be posting on my Scrapbook Fashionista channel. Um, pretty soon about getting started again doing crafting <clears throat> I imagine because our party is the 29th I imagine probably a week to two weeks after that is when I'm gonna start really hitting crafting again hard like on a daily daily basis and um, yeah I'm looking forward to it but there's still a lot to do around here and I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying being outdoors and you know, like there were like there were lots of sticks. That sounds funny, right? It's it's the woods, it's the wilderness, it's the mountaintop. But from all the construction and the heavy equipment, there were lots of sticks. And it just looked dirty and cluttery to me. So I went out in the last two days and raked up a lot of the like we have this huge wheelbarrow <laughs> huge deep giant wheelbarrow <clears throat> I filled that twice and I still have two piles out there that once honey um, unloads the wheelbarrow for me I'm gonna load again and it just to me it looked cleaner and neater and not like a construction zone which is really important to me I do not want to feel like I'm living in a construction zone anymore so anyway okay this time I'm really gonna say goodbye and we'll see you guys as soon as I can get him to do the video. I will upload it. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.